What's up guys, welcome back. I hope you're ready to take your appetizer game to the next level because today I'm showing you how to make crab and shrimp spinach dip. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell, enable notifications as well. All right, today's recipe is sponsored by Magic Spoon. A lot of you guys don't know this, but about five years ago, I was 250 pounds. I was able to lose 65 pounds by cutting out carbs and sugar. One of my favorite things to eat when I was younger was cereal. Luckily for me, Magic Spoon came along and now I can enjoy a nice bowl of cereal again. Because Magic Spoon cereal has zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Also only 140 calories per serving. You guys can try Magic Spoon's best-selling flavors in a four flavor variety pack featuring cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. My personal favorite is the frosted flavor. They're super delicious and nutritious. It tastes absolutely amazing and almost seems too good to be true. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. Click the link in the description box to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use the promo code MAKEITHAPPEN at checkout and get $5 off any order. Or go to magicspoon.com slash makeithappen. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. All right, let's make some spinach dip. We're gonna get started by dicing up one onion. Yellow or white, doesn't really matter. Whatever your preference is, is fine. Just gonna give it a nice rough chop. This Dow Strong Cleaver is making easy work of this onion. There we go. Once you've diced up your onion, we're gonna move on to dicing up some parsley. We're gonna use about a quarter cup of diced parsley for this. Preferably fresh, guys. It's optional. Uh, it does add a little bit of fresh herb flavor to the mix. There we go. We got our parsley diced up nice and fine. Now we're gonna salt some water. We're gonna blanch our spinach. This step is optional. You can use frozen spinach for this if you want, but we're going in with about 10 ounces of fresh spinach. It looks like a lot, but as you guys know, shrinkage is real, particularly when it comes to spinach. So into that boiling water, we're gonna add 10 to 12 ounces of spinach. Once it starts to wilt down a bit, we're gonna remove it and place it into some ice water to stop the cooking process and kind of shock the spinach. Once we've done that, we're gonna dry the spinach off and we have effectively blanched our spinach. And the key to a good spinach dip is obviously the spinach. We wanna make sure the spinach is nice and fresh. There we go. Break out half the paper towels that you have in the house to make sure you dry the spinach thoroughly. This step is important, guys, because if you don't dry the spinach all the way, then your spinach dip is going to be kind of watery, and we don't want that. You want to go over it a couple times with a paper towel. Make sure you dry it off to the best of your ability. Once that's done, we're moving on to grating our cheese. I always recommend grating your cheese fresh rather than buying the store-bought stuff because the store-bought cheese that's pre-shredded has potato starch and other anti-caking agents added to them, and that prevents the cheese from melting nicely. Today, we're using mozzarella and Parmesan. Once your cheese is shredded, we're moving on to our shrimp. Here we have some large peeled and deveined shrimp that's already been cleaned. We're gonna cut them in half, that way they're nice bite-sized pieces that'll fit on our baguettes or our chips. Season them up with a little all-purpose seasoning and some Old Bay, or use whatever seasoning you guys like. This recipe is packed with flavor, guys. As always, the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Once we've seasoned one pound of shrimp, we're gonna go ahead and get our Dutch oven nice and warm. Add a little avocado oil. We're working over medium heat here, and we're gonna sear our shrimp. Go ahead and start the cooking process. We don't wanna fully cook the shrimp at this point because they're gonna finish cooking in the oven, but we just wanna get the cooking process started here and allow the shrimp to add some nice flavor to our sauce that we're gonna make here in just a moment. So once the shrimp have the color that you like, we're gonna go ahead and remove them, leaving behind all that delicious fond and flavor in the bottom of our Dutch oven that we're gonna get up here in just a second. Again, that's one pound of shrimp. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside for just a moment. And then we're going in with two tablespoons of butter. Still working over medium heat, we're going in with that diced onion from earlier. I'm gonna sweat that down a little bit, get the cooking process started on the onion. The onion's gonna add a lot of flavor here as well. Next, we're going in with a teaspoon of roasted chicken better than bouillon. Use whatever one is your favorite. We're just adding a little bit more depth of flavor to this. 
Next, we're going in with one to two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. The flour is gonna effectively create a roux here for us, which is gonna be the thickening agent for our sauce. And then we're going in with a quarter cup of white wine, which is optional. You can use chicken stock there if you're avoiding the alcohol. More power to you. And now we're going in with our cream. So we have two cups of half and half going in right now. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and then we're gonna reduce that down to a simmer. Once you do that, things are gonna start thickening up a bit here. You wanna kill the heat and then add your cheese. One mistake a lot of people make when they're making a cheese sauce is they add the cheese when everything's piping hot. If you do that, a lot of times your sauce will become oily because it'll start to separate. So kill the heat or reduce it to low and then start to add in your cheese. Here we're going in with mozzarella and Parmesan. Again, guys, all the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Off camera, I did add in four ounces of cream cheese. That somehow we forgot to add into the video here, but there is four ounces of cream cheese added in as well. We're going in with that diced parsley for a pop of color and some fresh herb flavor. And then we're gonna chop up our dried spinach and we're gonna go in with that as well. This recipe is fantastic, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Once you've chopped up your spinach to your liking, go ahead and add it to your sauce. And then you're gonna get a nice forearm workout because you need to stir that until the spinach separates and evenly distributes throughout the sauce. Kinda like so. Now is a great time to taste the sauce and adjust the seasoning to your preference. We haven't added a ton of seasoning just yet because we did go in with that better than bouillon, which has a lot of sodium. So I recommend adding the seasoning towards the end. Now we're going in with eight ounces of crab meat. You can use claw if you're on a budget or you can use lump, whatever you, know, whatever you can find at your local grocery store. You can also go in with some base scallops or whatever seafood you want here. Give that a nice mix, make sure everything's well combined and we're going in with some red pepper flakes just for a little bit of spice. That's optional guys, you can add as much as you like. If you like your spinach dip a little bit more spice, you can add a little bit more. Nice and thick, looking beautiful. Now we're adding in our shrimp. So at this point we have our shrimp in there, we have our crab in there, the spinach is looking great. Now we're gonna season the taste. I'm going with my all-purpose seasoning, which is a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. You can grab that in the description box below as well. There's a discount code for you guys also. Also added a little Old Bay, and we're gonna add a little bit more mozzarella cheese just to make sure it's nice and cheesy. Oh man, that looks good. Say it with me guys, looking good. Next, you wanna preheat your oven to 375 degrees because this bad boy is about to go into a casserole dish and then into the oven. Couple quick money shots for you guys, nice and early. Oh man, that looks good. I could eat it just like that. 375 degrees on the oven. We're gonna to top this bad boy with a little bit more mozzarella and Parmesan cheese, cause why the hell not? and you're gonna have yourselves a dip that's gonna absolutely blow the roof off your next house party. Nothing like a good appetizer to get the party started. That's looking good, we're going in the oven and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a real quick baguette. You can buy these things already done or you can get some tortilla chips or crackers, whatever you wanna to use to serve this thing up. But you can buy these little French baguettes at, at your local bakery for like two bucks. Use a serrated blade and cut them at an angle like you see me doing right here. And then we're gonna pop them in that same 375 degree oven for just a couple minutes. Doesn't take long for these things to get nice and crusty. And they hold up really nicely to a thick dip like we're doing right here. So line them up on your baking sheet. I'm going down with a little bit of olive oil. Just hit each baguette with a little bit of olive oil. And then you can hit it with a little seasoning too, a little salt and pepper or some Italian seasoning, something like that. You can even hit them with some Parmesan cheese if you haven't had enough cheese in your spinach dip. And then we're gonna pop those in the oven for like three to five minutes until, the, until they get nice and crispy. And that, my friends, is a crab and shrimp spinach dip. Good Lord. Baguettes are done, the dip is done. Only thing left to do is give it a taste test. It's way too hot to taste, but you guys know I'm down to burn my tongue for you guys. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh man, this one's special guys. You gotta give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up along with the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.